Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Behind the Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we're going to do another Six Sense unboxing. This is my monthly Super Six Sack I've been receiving for, I want to say, probably about six months now or so. Uh, this is the November box. It is November 21st, and I am just now receiving this box. That is one complaint that I've had lately is that the boxes seem to be coming later and later. I would really love to be one of the first ones to be able to post this unboxing. Uh, I feel like the months that I did receive it a little bit earlier and I was able to post it the same day that I received it, I got more views. So you guys may have seen another unboxing by the time you see this one. Apologize for that. Uh, I wish there was something that I could do about it. I really don't think it's anything... Um, there's anything that Sixth Sense can do about it. I think it falls back on FedEx. Uh, they're just kind of known for that. So it is what it is, guys. But um, I, I am pretty certain that I will be uh, happy with the contents of this box. I have not been disappointed with a single box that I have gotten or a single bag or a sack that I have gotten from Sixth Sense yet. So I know that these baits are going to be good ones that I'm going to be able to catch fish on. I am almost certain of that. Uh, just, you know, wish that I could get them a little bit sooner so I could get these videos posted a little bit quicker. Been slacking a little bit on the videos, but guys, stay tuned. Bear with me. Make sure that you guys are uh, staying tuned to these, these videos that I'm posting. We've got the podcast. We have definitely not been slacking on that. We have been pumping those out every single week right on time. If you guys aren't familiar, it is on Wednesday at 8 p.m. right here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that, Make sure you check that out. Hit that notifications bell. That way when I do post a video or when I do go live, you guys are notified and you can tune in at that time. We're going to go ahead and get into this box. And uh, first things first, I want to have you guys before I open this thing, right? I have no idea what color bag is going to be in this month's subscription, but that is one thing that I like to have you guys take a guess at. Make sure you post that in the comments below. What color bag do you think that we'll get this month? We've had green, we've had red, we've had white, we've had black, we've had purple, we've had all kinds of cool colors. Go ahead, post that. I'm not gonna open the I'm not gonna open this thing until you guys post your guess below. Make sure you do it. Don't leave me hanging. Alright guys, let's get to it. I'm gonna open this up. What color did you say? What color do you think this is going to be? I think I think blue. I don't know if I've had a blue one yet. So I'm going to say blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think about that? Blue. I was right. Did you guys guess blue? That's crazy because this was kind of the the color of blue that I had in mind, honestly. Uh, I didn't cheat. I haven't watched anybody else's unboxings. This was my, this was my honest to God guess. That's crazy. Now you probably don't believe me, but I think I might just have some sort of superpowers that I haven't tapped into quite yet. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead. This thing just, it feels super full, just like it always is. I feel like you always get a, a a nice variety but also uh, you get quite a few lures for what you pay uh, for these subscriptions I think I'm paying close to forty dollars now I think it was thirty six dollars and then there was some sort of taxes or something went up and it's like thirty nine dollars now all right but I'm gonna go ahead get right into it first things first we have a finesse jig this is a five sixteenths ball head finesse jig and it is in my favorite color of all time not just my favorite lure color but my favorite color of all time which is black and blue this thing looks sweet i feel like you know this finesse jig is something that i could throw in the winter time right to downsize that presentation that is something you will hear a lot of guys do is downsize throw a lot of finesse in the winter time and here we are we have a we have a six cents subscription and um, they don't they don't 
I don't think they say anything about how they're trying to match the time of year to the baits that they're sending or you know the region or anything like that. We know some of the other guys do that. Six Cents doesn't do that. But here we are. We have a bait that we can use any time of year. But specifically this time of year, the skirt's all stuck together and whatnot. But look at that. The thing looks good. Got a nice stout weed guard we can trim down if we want to. You got that ball head. You got the black and the blue. And then you also have a nice trailer keeper on there as well. I'm a big fan of jigs. I'm a big fan of black and blue. I'm signing off on that sucker for sure. Okay. What do we got here? This is a this is a six cents fishing lanyard. Okay. What do we do with that? Maybe for keys or something? I don't know. But it's got some sort of camo pattern on it there. Got a big super heavy duty buckle there. I don't know, do we throw our boat keys on there or something? I'm not I'm not sure. It is a nice lanyard. I will say, if I was going to purchase a lanyard, I think this one would definitely, and I like how, you know, it has the six right there. I like it. I mean, I don't know that I really needed a lanyard, but I got one now, right? And it is a nice one, so I don't know. My daughter might steal it from me to put her house keys on. I don't know. Okay, here we go. We got some six cents shaky heads. These are in quarter ounce, three aught hooks. This is the divine shaky head. They got the screw lock bait keeper there. I'm gonna go ahead and bust them out for you. Well, I think I am anyways. There we go. Quarter ounce, I think, is a good all around size. You got the screw lock. Definitely would pair nice with that divine uh was it a shaky worm, I believe? I like it. Nice shaky head. Shaky head something that I need to start throwing a lot more of. I used to throw it quite a bit. Um, but for whatever reason, I stopped. I stopped throwing worms almost all together. I, I don't know why. We got the Movement L7. I believe we have one of these. Uh, got, you know, these in a, in a bag before. This is going to dive three to six feet. And this is in a Chartreuse Spank. It's got kind of a copper top, chartreuse sides, and a and a white belly. A little white bait. So this thing has a yeah, it's not really a, a wake bait action. I kind of misspoke there but um, it's just got a an erratic hunting action to it I remember I fished this one out at my grandpa's and, and I did notice it I wouldn't necessarily say this is a, a great you know wintertime cold water bait but I mean heck you can probably catch them on that thing anytime of year let's go ahead and keep going through it we got a speed glide we got another one of these recently so I have heard people complain about getting multiple baits, uh, you know, multiples with these subscription services. I think that's just the nature of the beast. You know, they've got baits they need to get rid of. And um, I don't know, I've never fished the Speed Glide. Maybe I ought to, I ought to give it a shot. I think I'd rather, you know, if I was wanting to fish a glide bait, I'd probably go with a little 
bit bigger presentation, but I mean, I can imagine if they were feeding on bait fish, they would hit that thing for sure. So I, I ought to give it a shot, but this will be my second one. Just worth noting. Uh-oh. We got some shaky worms, divine shaky worm. I was right. I was trying to remember the name. This is in cosmic black, 6.3 inches, and they come in a big old tin pack. I do like the way that these are packaged as well. They come in this kind of clamshell packaging, keeps them nice and neat, keeps them from getting pinched and torn. And this is a nice color. It's got black with purple flake, red flake, gold flake. I don't know if you guys can see the color of that real well. Hopefully my lighting isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and rig it up on one of these shaky heads. There you go. So go ahead and just tech expose that, keep it from getting hung up, throw this thing right up in some brush piles, throw it around, uh, throw it up in the rocks even. I mean, you can throw this thing anywhere and this is a nice finesse presentation, great colors. I'm a fan. I'm definitely gonna throw this. Definitely gonna throw this. Let me know if you guys have thrown this shaky head I know. This isn't a brand new uh, product for them. I know I've seen other people posting about these online. Seem to be great. I think they also have another shaky style head, maybe with a free swinging head or something like that. All right, we got one more bait left here. This is gonna be in the Crush 50S Silent. So I feel like that kind of goes along with that finesse theme. You know, we got the shaky heads. We got a square bill. So, you know, you can still find fish shallow this time of year for sure. Got that, what is it, baby bass? Yeah. But being that it is a silent bait, water is going to be clearing up a little bit this time of year. Water is also going to be obviously dropping in temperature. So, maybe just a little bit less sound. Might get those finicky fish to to bite that bait. So there you go. We got a little little finesse action in this month's box. The Movement L7. We got the Speed Glide, and we got the Lanyard here. So I don't know. I, I can't say that this is my favorite box ever for sure. It's definitely not, and it's probably one of my least favorite boxes. Honestly, this is probably one of my least favorite boxes. I would say that, you know, the Speed Glide being a duplicate, I wasn't super excited about getting another one of these. Um, now, if I go out and actually fish this thing and catch some fish on it, then I might be a little bit more excited about having two of them. So the fact that I haven't ever fished this bait probably also will contribute to me not being super excited about it. I I could never complain about having more of these divine shaky worms. Absolutely not. I have caught fish on them and um, I love the color of these as well. The shaky head, the shaky head jigs themselves. Uh, I'm excited about getting these, having them in quarter ounce. I think that's probably, you know, perfect for, for what I do. Um, probably going to throw these on spinning gear but i mean heck that quarter ounce you could throw this on a bait caster if you wanted to so excited about having that you know square bills right up my alley the l7 it's something that i probably should throw a little bit more and i have caught fish on this thing so excited about it so guys definitely appreciate you tuning into these videos i plan on getting behind the camera a little bit more 
here uh, throughout the winter. I've been busy and I've just really just been slacking on some of this video stuff. But guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Hit that notifications bell. Make sure you comment what your favorite item out of this month's box was. Was it the Crush? Was it the L7? Was it the Shaky Head Worms? Was it the Shaky Head Jigs? Was it the Speed Glide? Or was your favorite thing this lane? Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one.